Hello, this is Gwyntothir. Yes, welcome to Repton 3. This is a game released in 1986 for the BBC Micro. And here he is, here's Repton. Now he's going about his day-to-day -day business of collecting diamonds and not getting hit on the head with boulders. Okay, here's a safe. Inside it there's a diamond, but we need to go and collect a key first. And this here is an egg, which breaks when you drop it and releases a monster. Which is fairly simple to dispose of in this instance, but don't be fooled because they get tricky later. We've gone as far as we can for the moment, so let's head back. Now, when we collect the key, this boulder will roll off down this hole, so we can either collect these diamonds first or push the rock off the other way. Rocks will always roll off to the left if they can. Now, here we see another egg. That's quick to deal with. Like that. And that leaves us free to collect this key, which instantaneously turns all the saves in the level to diamonds. Now, coming around here, we find some cages. We're going further down, we find these spirits. Now, they'll always follow the left wall. So they're easy to dodge in open areas if you're paying enough attention. And these spirits turn the cages into diamonds when they enter them. One, two, three, there we go. So now we go back to where we went before to pick up all the diamonds that we left behind. And to go through all the uh, new paths that have been opened up for us. Now this part can be a small trap if you're not careful. You could either end up with a rock on your head or a diamond trapped where you can't reach it. If you go around like this, be safe. And we're all done over here now. So we go into this little cave that's opened up down here. With some diamonds and a few simple traps. You might get caught on your first playthrough, especially here, if you go straight down. Pushing out of the way is good. Now here's a crown. There's one per level and you have to collect it. Pretty much like the diamonds. Uh, it's, it's a glorified diamond, really. Now we move around here onto the last area of the level. And here we see the time bomb, which we have to defuse to end the level. And we can't do that yet, we don't have all the diamonds, as we can look at the uh, status screen to find out. There's six diamonds left. If we look at the map, we can see where they are. Obviously they're down there, because we haven't been there. And there's other information on this screen, uh, but what we really care about are the time limit, our lives, and the number of diamonds and monsters left in this level. So we uh, go down, collect the remaining diamonds here, and just to be sure, we can check our status screen again and see, yep, it's telling us to defuse the time bomb. And we do that by stepping on it, and our reward is this editor code here. That editor code, obviously, if you want to edit the level. Now, I'm getting rather sick of this music, aren't you? Well, it's nice music, but um, it does get a bit repetitive, and so do the sound effects. So, uh, I hear made a little uh, remix here that you can listen to. Now here we are on to the next level called Citadel and this is probably the easiest level of the game as you can see by the map here. It's uh, completely open, one complete room, different to the rest of the uh, levels. Now we're just wandering around, collecting all the diamonds. It's not really hard, you can see. Collect the key there, because you know, there's no death traps. Well, that, by the way, is a time capsule that resets the time limit that you've got up to its maximum. And it's not really important on this level. Uh, here is another place where you could trap some diamonds or uh, kill Rapton by landing a rock on his head. And uh, yeah, this part's particularly tricky if you don't watch out. But uh, you can dodge it.
taken out. It's got a rock up there, just checking down here to see if there's anything that it can fall onto or trap. Uh, no. As I said, they made this level really, really simple. It's, uh, to lull you into a false sense of security, I think. Because the levels do get devious. And just finishing off collecting up a few things here. And uh, there we go, diffuse time bomb. So we're going on down, 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 all the way to the time bomb. And we get another register code. We'll go on to the, the next level here and introduce some new things. Okay, this one's called Morning. You can see down the bottom screen there. We don't have very much time. A thousand units of time is equal to about one minute. And let's go. And uh, here's a new thing here. It's a uh, teleporter. And when you go through the teleporter, you get this nice special effect. And you end up somewhere else. And there's nowhere to tell exactly where you're going to end up. Deal with that monster there, that's pretty simple. And uh, this monster's a bit more tricky. I'm taking quite a risk here because they are quite unpredictable. He could have come over and decided he wanted to uh, say hello. So, uh, just tidy up these diamonds and keys and things around here. Watch out, we don't get a rock on our head and go down here. Now you might have seen there, there's a special little move that you can do. It's not much, but it's quite useful. I'll talk about it later. And there, down there, is Fungus. Which is dangerous if you touch it. And it also spreads. So you've got to watch out for it and keep it contained if you can. Now I am running through this level because, as I said, that time limit is not very good. 2,000 units gives about 2 minutes. So just running around, letting these spirits out here, and running in and saying hello to them, because we like to live on the edge, and run ahead of them. Don't need to, but it saves time. Go past the cages, they'll go all in those, and we can collect these down here. Now that special move I was talking about is called the Repton Shuffle, and uh, you'll see it here, you get a block, uh, boulder on your head, and you shuffle around and you push it off, and you saw the screen flashing white, which means time is running out. You also get a nice beep beep sound effect if I've uh, turned those off, because they're quite annoying. And we let this spirit out, and it's quite easy to go straight into his cage there. Collect the crown, collect these uh, few remaining diamonds here. And a few more until we get to the exit, and as you can see when we get to the exit, if you haven't collected them all and you try to go and get that, you end up blocking off the time bomb, which is a bad thing. And here at the end of this level, we're just going to show you in the middle of that map, on the next screen, you can see the last new thing that we have to introduce, which are skulls, which are like fungus, but they don't reproduce, and things roll off of them. Okay, so this has been my Let's Play for Repton 3. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, see you soon.